good morning everybody dear students today we are going to start online classes for repeaters batch the topic for today's discussion is reaction mechanism the first topic in this chapter is isomerism what do you know about isomerism or can you give an example for isomerism one classical example is that of ethyl alcohol and dimethyl ether both having the same molecular formula C2H6O two carbon atoms six hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom you know ethyl alcohol is having the structure CH3CH2OH that is C2H6O and dimethyl ether is having the structure CH3 OCH3 that is also having the molecular formula C2H6O you know ethyl alcohol is a liquid having boiling point 78.5 degree whereas dimethyl ether is a gas having minus 24 degrees so these two compounds are entirely different in physical and chemical properties but having the same molecular formula so important point to be remembered is same molecular formula different compounds these two compounds are called isomers and this phenomenon is called isomerism another example is you know a compound with the molecular formula C4S10 that is butane is a hydrocarbon having only carbon and hydrogen four carbon atoms and 10 hydrogen atoms there are two butanes one is normal butane and the other is isobutane normal butane is having the structure this one a straight chain of four carbon atoms whereas isobutane is having a side chain also like this even though the molecular formula is same these two compounds are entirely different isobutane is having a lower boiling point you know branched chain hydrocarbons will have comparatively lower boiling point so these two compounds normal butane and isobutane are also isomers just as in the case of c2h6o this compound corresponds to two compounds two different compounds and they are also again isomers and this phenomenon is called isomerism a third example is that of pentane pentane you know molecular formula is c5s12 is also a hydrocarbon there are three compounds having this formula with the different physical and chemical properties one is normal pentane having this structure normal pentane the other is isopentane the third one is neopentane
neopentane having a highly branched structure. These three compounds are entirely different. You know, neopentane is having a the lowest boiling point, maximum branching. And normal pentane is having the highest boiling point. These three compounds are also called isomers. And this phenomenon is called isomerism. Now we have seen three examples. One is C2H6O, two compounds, ethyl alcohol and immediate ether. Second one is C4S10, two compounds, normal butane and isobutane. Third is pentane, C5S12, three compounds, normal pentane, isopentane and neopentane. In all these cases, the molecular formula is same but compounds are different. This phenomenon is called isomerism and the compounds are called isomers. I think that point is clear. Now we come to classification of isomerism. Isomerism can be mainly classified into two. One is structural isomerism. And the other is stereoisomerism. Isomerism can be mainly classified into two structural and stereo. Structural isomerism can again be classified into six. One is chain isomerism. Second is position isomerism. Third is functional isomerism. Next, totomerism. metamerism and the last ring chain isomerism. Similarly, stereoisomerism can be classified into three. One, geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism is also called cis-trans isomerism. Second one is optical isomerism. And the third one is conformational isomerism. 